Hello everyone, welcome back to On The Fly. Today we're watching our first ever video here on YouTube together. As we are celebrating our three year anniversary today as well. We're celebrating reaching our 500 subscriber milestone. So a big, big thank you to all of you for watching, subscribing, liking, hitting the, the, the subscribe, whatever it might be, hitting the comments. It's all been extremely helpful and it's been a lot of fun. You know, it's been three years now that we've been going at this and, and every single day it's been an absolute pleasure. And I'll tell you a little bit of context here as this is sort of our three years, a little bit taking a look back as this channel did actually start because I was pretty terrible at public speaking. And I'll be honest with you and say this was started because I wanted to give myself a little bit of a challenge. I wanted to learn quite literally on the fly as I've, I think I've mentioned a couple times to this point of, across the journey but to be honest it wouldn't be we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys uh, so a big thank you all the comments all the likes all the whatever it might be just helping me along my journey with the comments you know even giving little tips here and there or just you know telling me about how bad i am and how i need to fix my takes whatever it might be a huge thank you for for helping me get to where i am today as it really did start and i'll throw it up here this is what uh, on the fly started with a bedtime late night can't quite sleep apple iphone note whatever whatever you want to call it it started with this this is what on the fly started with you know just a list of things that i could do you know you can even see it here with the bfr the bruins fan reacts that was one of the things i was thinking about doing didn't quite work out that way instead we're doing a lot more double ihf coverage but of course we wouldn't be here today without you guys so a big big thank you but we will transition it in here today to our first ever video and a little bit of context for this one we started our channel back in 2021 the biggest thing that was going on was of course the seattle expansion draft and this is one that i learned pretty quickly the importance of scheduling because it ended up being probably three or four videos a day and i learned pretty quickly that if you're going to be doing this kind of stuff you got to schedule and that's one of the once again you know sort of the lessons you learn along the way you learn on the fly whatever it might be you know this that's sort of the one thing i'll take away especially from this series is the importance of planning knowing what you're going to be doing ahead of time and, you know, transition it throughout this entire channel throughout my years. So, you know, it, it, every every little lesson is, is one and of itself and you learn a lot through just doing this. So if I have one tip of advice for you before we watch this video today is get yourself out there and, and really just throw yourself out. You never know what you're going to learn, the people you're going to meet. And I can tell you this much, I wouldn't have expected to be here today in front of you guys speaking to a camera, no script and all. You know, this video, I'll be honest, was one of the few videos that have been scripted in my time because uh, and I'll show you here in a second it was uh, it was the first one and it was a rough one to put it nicely but with that being said we'll hop into it today this is swiping to Seattle Anaheim Ducks edition hope you enjoy hello everyone welcome to on the fly today we're gonna be looking at a new series called swiping to Seattle we'll be looking at all 30 NHL teams that are put up for the NHL expansion draft this coming year so the first thing I just want to point out there is the board that is nearly impossible to see. That was one of the things I learned about probably about a month in is that iMovie, which is what I edit on, actually has multiple, you know, multiple levels of quality that you can choose from. Yeah, I probably should have learned that one, not to mention how far away the board and how small I was writing was another one, you know, you sort of learn along the way, but hey. You know, that's just the joy of learning, right? As we'll move it, we'll, we'll push it along here. We'll let you guys watch as we'll, we'll talk we'll about it. We will start off with the Anaheim Ducks. In order to meet draft requirements. And there, there's the first one as well with the helicopter cuts. And this is one that I think I learned, you know, four or five videos in is that I had to stop doing that because the truth is it looks like a helicopter because what I'd do is I'd memorize the first 30 seconds and then cut it and then cut it. And I kept picking my phone up, you know, and didn't quite work out the way you want but hey you know it's the first video learn from it and uh we got ourselves finally a setup now so we'll see we'll move it along keep it moving uh no need to uh keep going teams must expose at least two forwards one d who are under contract through 2021 to 2022 and have played either 40 games in 2020 to 2021 or have 70 games in the last two seasons of those highlighted players on the Anaheim Ducks include Adam Henrique, Jacob Silverberg, Ricard Raquel, Sonny. <laughs> it's just so funny looking back on the uh, the guy who couldn't pretty much talk without anything in his hand. That certainly hasn't changed that much. But, you know, it's, it is funny to see sort of looking back. 
you know, you're looking at the board. Now you look to the camera. It's just, it's the little things, right? That kind of makes a little bit of a difference. And I know, you know, you'll probably watch this and laugh at me right now looking down and, and whatnot, but it's, uh, it's, it's an interesting journey. And I would highly recommend if you are thinking about it at all, you know, reach out to me. Uh, you can find my email in the description, you know, just, just do it. You know, it's, it's a, it's a journey that you'll never regret. I'll help you out as best I can. So be sure to, to go out and do it. If you're ever thinking of even just a little bit of an inkling, highly recommend doing this. Okay, I'll stop talking now. I'll let the video play out a little bit. Milano, Derek Grant, Troy Terry, and Nico Delorier. Other notable forwards include Sam Steele, who's a restricted free agent, Alexander Volkov, Isaac Ludenstrom, Max Jones, and Danton Ooh, Heinen. Danton all Heinen. these players are all current restricted free agents, which means that they can be signed with, right current with the team, or they can be picked by Seattle and often. re-signed with, all, with full rights to them. Next up is the D. As you can see, there are six highlighted green players. These players meet the same requirements as the, as the forwards do, but like the D, they only have to expose one. These players include Cam Fowler, Cam Slimo, Josh Manson, you know, Kevin Shacker, Hayden Flurry, and Johan Larson. Tough, uh, tough look Other notable, here, notable notice D one. include Brandon Gooley, who did not meet the game's requirements this year, and Josh Mahura, who is a RFA. A helicopter. Finally, the goalies. The Anaheim Ducks only have two goalies that are, that are up for the NHL expansion draft. John Gibson and Anthony St All right, I'll pause it there. And one of the things I want to talk about here is that what you guys don't see is that this is a four minute video that actually in reality lasted me about, I want to say it was closer to about four hours for three and a half minutes of content because I quite literally, I tried it. You know, I tried this, I tried just speaking to a camera and it was, it probably took me about an hour to an hour and a half to get just the intro down. And then I was like, no, not happening. And I finally got through the intro. I, I figured out my intro, you know, I was sticking with it. And then, you know, we messed up one part and then we had to restart. And then it got to a point where I'm like, I'm not doing this. I'll cut it in half. You know, I'll, I'll bear the fruit of the first one. But uh, unfortunately, now, you know, you got to you got to live with me talking for the entire time. So let me know if you like it better. I, I think you guys probably do like it better a little bit, but we'll move, we'll move back. We'll go back. We'll go back. So Lars. Now to start protecting players. This, the guarantees that will be protected include Jer Jacob Silverberg and Ricard Raquel. On the defense side, it is definitely going to be Cam Fowler, Hampus Lindholm, and in the net, it will definitely be John Gibson. From here, you can good. kind of Protected determine whether it will be Hampus Adam Lindholm. Henrique or Sid Sonny Milano. I believe it will be Adam Henrique due to the leadership that he brings, and Sonny Milano will not be selected by the Kraken due to his uh, youngness and so lack of potential. potential. He you also was have Troy Terry, who most Three years ago, he has not changed one bit. And Sam Steele, Ale or, uh, Isaac Ludenstrom, and Max Jones. Max Jones, what was the hesitation uh, On there? the defense side, it'll be between Josh Manson and Kevin Shattenkirk. I believe Josh Manson Ooh, will Oh, and Kevin Shattenkirk's the there, too. Once again, uh, future that run. Manson has and Shattenkirk's aging. As here it is uh, again, helicopter. In terms of players at risk, I believe that Danton Heinen is the majority at risk. Dan and Heinen. Kevin well Shattenkirk. Kevin both, Shattenkirk. Both Bruins. All you need to do and now is Hayden highlight Lindholm. Flurry. I guess he protected him though. Hayden Flurry's youngness yeah, and, and defensive, defensive talents is very attractive. The Kraken is right a new there. team coming in and hopefully looking for a really good rebuild. Kevin Shankar brings that leadership aging and core. that aging core like that will really help them com combine to someday become a dynasty. And then Dan Heinen is a player that can become streaky a really streaky guy, guy if he James finds Boston. the right chemistry with his line mates. The right chemistry. Overall, I believe the that the Kraken will select Danton Heinen from the Anaheim Ducks. Breaking Danton Heinen. Oh, and, and that, the walk across the, first to the board. First player on the Seattle Kraken. Yeah, we, we've we'll learned that graphics are a lot. They look a lot. And then the helicopter. Oh, thank you so much for thank watching. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, please consider dropping a like, subscribing, leave a comment if you disagree or agree with me, and share with all Have your a good friends. Day. Yeah, that's Have the good one day. that we've uh, certainly taken away from our years is uh, no longer have a good day, but until next time, see ya. But I would like to all thank you for making it with us this far in the journey. We're five or three years down now right? Lots more to come. 
be sure to stay tuned. As always, thank you all very much for watching. Throughout the entire journey, from start to swiping to Seattle, from the, the Women's World Hockey Championship to the Olympics, to NHL trade deadline recaps, to NHL trade deadline live streams, to watching the World Juniors together, to most recently watching the Stanley Cup Finals together. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the support, for all the help along the years, and from me to you, one big, one very special thank you. If you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. If you'd like to drop a like, if you really like if you're subscribing, tell all your friends that we have hit 500 subscribers on YouTube and the next one is a thousand. Thank you. Have a good night. And well, it wouldn't be like this kind of video without doing it in one take. Until next time, I'll see you.